Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Heather and I am a stay-at-home mom of two and I make all videos on homemaking, lifestyle vlogs, and mom life. And today we're doing our bedtime routine while daddy's at work. And I go ahead and start with my four-month-old and then move on to my toddler because it's just easier to do one at a time and get one of them situated and then move on to the next. So the bath wash I use for my four month old is the Cotton Touch Johnson & Johnson and it smells fabulous and I've never had any problems with his skin or anything so we like it. Ma se bang badami da bada <laughs> now we're just getting our lotion and our pajamas and I just use the same lotion um, that I use up the bath wash and now here he is rolling over while I'm trying to put his lotion on. <laughs> And these pajamas are the Burt's Bees pajamas. They're literally the softest pajamas ever. I've never bought this brand. My mother-in-law got these for their Christmas and I love them so I'll definitely be getting some more. But yeah, now we're all ready for bed. Now I'm going to go ahead and nurse him and put him in the bed while I take a two second nap. Now we're on to my toddler's bath and I use actual shampoo and conditioner for him because he has a ton of hair and it was getting really dry so we just use the Dove kids conditioner and shampoo um, but yeah. <laughs> Now I'm just going to go ahead and brush his teeth and get into jammies and then we're going to go to bed. And we usually sing Jesus Loves Me and read a book, but I forgot to film that part so I'm going to insert a clip right here of him singing Jesus Loves Me. Although he does get a little bit nervous whenever he's singing for someone, so <laughs> he's a little theatrical. Jesus loves me, he for I got a sadish, it don't For the DJ, Now that I got both boys to bed, I'm just going to tidy up the living room and it'll most likely get destroyed in about two seconds in the morning, but it's nice to wake up to a clean living room.
So I'm just gonna make a quick breakfast meal before I clean up the kitchen and head off to take a shower. So this recipe is literally three ingredients and it's so delicious and it's so easy to warm up whenever you're in a hurry or on the go or whatever. So um, we need a pound of sausage, a cup of bisquick, and a cup of cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my bisquick, I just use the original kind. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in a bowl my cup of cheddar cheese, and then don't drain your sausage because we're gonna need that grease to like bond everything together. So don't drain the sausage and you can just put it right in while it's hot. I mean, you don't want it to be like steaming hot, but I mean, I didn't wait very long to put it in. So after you mix it all together, which I ended up using a um, handheld mixer because that was about to take too long. So I just mix it together with a hand mixer and then you literally just squish it into balls, put it on some foil and put it in the oven at 400 for like 14 minutes and then kind of look at it and see. But they kind of are just supposed to get a little bit brown because everything's already cooked in there. So here's how they come out and they're so delicious. I promise, definitely try this recipe. So now that everyone else is ready for bed, I go ahead and get my shower and wash my face and put my moisturizer on. I just use a regular old Noxzema and this little scrubby brush thing. Um, I'm not very fancy with the skincare life, <laughs> but um, at least my face stays clean. But And then I use the um, Cetaphil moisturizer and both of those are fabulous and they're not harsh on my skin, so that's what I use. And now I'm gonna just brush out my 1,000 pounds of hair. I wash my hair about once or twice a week, so tonight was a non-hair washing day. And then, um, yeah, then I'm just gonna check on the babies and watch some TV and go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so I can know what other kind of videos to make. And don't forget to subscribe.